Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to give you a quick tour of my gravity powered chicken watering system. It includes three main components, a 55 gallon barrel, gravity, and these little chicken watering cups that I've had uh, very many questions about. So I figured I'd do a quick tour and at the end of this, I'll show you how to install one of these cups in a uh, little PVC pipe and make a little housing so that you can uh, maybe build the system for your chickens. So let's get on with the tour. To start the tour off, we're going to look at the first main component of the system, which is a 55 gallon barrel. Uh, you can use pretty much any size container you want, uh, but for my needs, a uh, 55 gallon is really the most convenient. It holds a lot of water, and even in the Arizona summer, I can go about two and a half months without having to refill this. So I can be assured, assuming the system doesn't get clogged, that my chickens will have fresh water for at least two and a half months, um, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the next piece of this is going to be the base. As you can see, this is not fancy wood that I've used here, uh, but it's pretty much just scrap wood that I made a little base out of four, uh, four by fours, uh, two by threes, and uh, just some little scrap, whatever I had. It works perfectly fine. All you need to do is just build something that can hold approximately 400 uh, pounds worth of water because that's what this is going to be once it's fully uh, filled up. Uh, the next thing you're going to see is the fitting right here, which is actually a swamp cooler fitting that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's just a little brass fitting that uh, threads on both sides. You'll have a three quarter inch hole and it will leave threads on the outside. From there, I have added a uh, three quarter inch irrigation fitting. I wanna say this was about 90 cents or 89 cents um, at Home Depot. And then it's just basically a T fitting that has a little uh, valve here that if I wanna clean out or if I wanna uh, you know, get some water out of the system like that, um, I can do that pretty easily. I have a little stop valve right here uh, just in, in case I want to be able to maintain the system and stop the flow of water. So I'll turn that on and show you a little bit lower. If you notice down here, you're going to see this pipe goes down into the ground. This goes all the way down into the ground, probably about four or five inches, and it runs this direction over to the chicken coop um, to where the eventual box that houses the little watering cups is. So let me take you over there now. Now that we're in the coop, we'll show you the last and most important portion of this watering system, which is obviously the little orange watering cups. There's one of my girls drinking out of it right now. Uh, these cups are mounted in a three quarter inch PVC pipe with an end cap on that right side. Uh, that's just for clean out. And they're fed by that black irrigation pipe that comes up from the ground uh, originally from the blue barrel. The bottom of that blue barrel is about eight inches higher than this PVC pipe, which gives it plenty of pressure uh, to pressurize these watering cups. And I'll show you how easy they are to maintain. Obviously, the little yellow nipple is for the chickens to peck on. And when that's pecked on, uh, water is able to come out of the system. It's pretty, pretty nice and it's very easy for them to learn it uh, just because you can fill it up with water and let them know that that's where it's coming from. Every time they drink, a little more water comes out. Maintenance wise, they're very simple uh, to maintain. You can just simply pop the cup off like that. If there's any debris or clogs in the system, you can just push the nipple like that and clean anything out that you need. It's a big enough uh, uh, piping or interior uh, opening that pretty much anything will come out. If you need to clean out anything bigger, you can use that pipe. Overall, it's very simple to build. I'm just using uh, EMT conduit uh, strapping to mount it to this redwood box. And the only reason I have it mounted in this box is basically to keep a little extra debris off of uh, off of the, the PVC pipe and the cups. Um, also, it protects it from sunlight. And in our few freezes here in Arizona, I'm able to cover this entire box and just protect the system from freezing. So let me take you inside and we'll uh, put one of these together and you can see just about how easy it is to do. Now that you've seen the tour of the system and how it works, let me go ahead and show you how I make the PVC assembly 
that will eventually hold your chicken watering cups. The first fitting that you're going to need if you're supplying it with irrigation tubing like I am is a three-quarter inch PVC to half inch irrigation tubing adapter. It will have one black end like that. That's going to connect into a 90 degree three-quarter inch PVC elbow. From there you'll connect it into another section of three-quarter inch PVC pipe whatever length that you need to be able to accommodate how many ever chicken watering cups you have. Obviously my system has two but for this example I'm just going to use one. On that pipe you're going to drill a 3 8 inch hole to accept the threads of this chicken watering cup. Once you get your hole drilled you're going to want to wrap Teflon tape or a uh, a little pipe lubricant or whatever, something to seal that before you thread it in here. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and thread it in just so you can kind of see how it goes together. You'll twist it on there all the way until the back of the fitting is flush with the PVC pipe. And there it is. So it looks just like the one that uh, in my coop. The last fitting that you're going to need to add is a three quarter inch end cap that has a threaded end. And you'll just need to make sure that that threaded end has a cap that fits tightly enough uh, to keep it watertight. And that will serve as your eventual clean out or drain or whatever you want to do um, just for maintenance reasons. So now let me go ahead and build a little box and put some mounting hardware to be able to hold this in so you can see what it looks like just like the system you just saw.